Welcome back to the 31 days of Halloween here at our YouTube channel. As I wanted to make some Halloween classics, I decided to make a Frankenstein today. And I made it a little bit different than the classic Frankenstein is because I made metal stitches to my face. Of course, I have the bolts because they need to be there to be a Frankenstein, but the rest is kind of... Um, an updated version of Frankenstein. Well, if you want to know how I have created this makeup, please keep watching because I will explain it step by step in the coming video. And if you don't want to miss any of the videos we upload to this channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. First, we're going to map out the places where the stitches need to be. So I'm going to draw it out with a pencil liner. I'm gonna mix my scalp gel to make these into, it's not wounds, but the skin flaps that are uh, stitched together. So if this is the first video you see of me and you would like to know more about scalp gel, I have a different video, I put a link to that one above. You can watch to know exactly what to do and how to work with scalp gel, but now I'm just gonna apply it on my face. Um, scalp gel is a silicone you can uh, easily work with directly on the skin and it gives great effects that's all the scalp gel we're gonna wait a few minutes to let this set completely so it won't move at all and I can safely work over it and after it has set I will Put setting powder over it to uh, make it easier to paint it. So if you want to know if the scalp gel has completely set don't go touch your face because that way if it hasn't set you will ruin your makeup. You should have a bit left over. There's always a bit left over and you can feel on there if it's set or if it isn't set. So this isn't set completely yet so we need to wait just a bit longer. Well, I don't want an entire green face, so that is why I'm gonna get one part just skin color. And because I want it to be a cartoony Frankenstein, I want it as evenly as I could possibly make it. There is a lot of concealer on my face and I'm gonna get my highlight and contour palette by Meron to set this with powder and to just make it more uh, even if that is even possible. The next thing I have is the bolts and I've got these by Tinsley Transfers to make it easy on myself. You could make them yourself get a hole with sculpt gel and just create bolts out of anything but i've got the franken bolts by tinsley and um, they make life easier so with special effects i always think if you can make it easier on yourself or quicker especially when you are a working artist do that Now there needs to be a symmetry in these two and I hope I can get that at once. So now these are on my skin and I have a sponge and I will spray this with water and then just wetten the paper and they, the paper will let loose and the prosthetic will stay on my skin. Then I chose Lime Green by Meron to get the green in there for the Frankenstein um, and I'm just gonna cover everything from my face to my neck till the bolts at least so I'm gonna wear my hair loose and that will cover a bit of the hairline so I won't get a lot of green in my hair
Now I have these amazing colors by Meron. These are the precious gem powders and I'm gonna apply them over the green face paint to get some depth into what I have created. And they are nice and shiny and they will give my Frankenstein just a bit extra. lovely diamond color which I will use to make a blush like effect so this is my normal makeup just the black eyeliner I love making my waterline black so that's what I'm gonna do to this I'm going to continue with Basic Red by Meron and this I will use to put between the skin flaps and to color my lips with a very very small brush I'm going to Get those spaces painted between the sculpture. Well, now it's time for the fun and the stressful bit for me because I don't yet know if what I want to create will work. Well, for the stitches, I wanted to do something cool, so I found this chain in a drawer at my house and I used to make. Uh, bracelets by myself so um, what I thought I would do is open these uh, very wide and then try to glue them to my face as if they are the stitches so I've been stitched up with uh, silver stitching um, but I don't know yet if they will hold on my skin first let me get these in and then the card of my camera was full i'm so sorry i didn't know i don't know where it stopped but i just finished the uh, rings on my face or the stitches and that almost concludes my makeup so I'm gonna get my hair loose again to cover up some of the green I didn't do of course and I'm gonna pop in a green contact lens on the green side and then my Frankenstein is complete and that concludes my Frankenstein makeup for today. Of course, I hope you liked it. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and come back tomorrow for a new video in our 31 days of Halloween. Uh, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel so you will stay updated about the videos. I wish you a pleasant day and I hope to see you next time. Bye bye.